Welcome back for another episode of CrossFit the Kitchen. My name is Brandon, aka the only person that believes in wearing a holiday sweater for Christmas. And I am Eddie, aka Lelo. For today's episode, we're going to make some dessert nachos. I'm going to top that off with some homemade eggnog. But before we get that started, let's keep the traditions going. Oh, bro. Go to Kilo, bro. So, the ingredients that we're going to need today is six eggs. You're actually not going to keep the egg whites, save them for later. We're going to use them for breakfast, I'm sure. Half a cup of sugar. You can use your own sugar, brown sugar, white sugar. The recipe calls for white sugar, depending on your taste. One cup of heavy whipping cream, two cups of milk, one and a half teaspoons of nutmeg, just a little pinch of salt, and a fourth of vanilla extract. And if you like cinnamon like I do, a little bit of ground cinnamon. Well, we have our bowl right here. You want to use a medium one because you'll see why in a little bit, but we're going to do a lot of mixing in this. We have our sugar that you had saw previously, and then we have our six eggs. Now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to crack the egg and then actually extract the yolk from the egg whites and separate it. You're not going to use the egg whites in this, so feel free to throw in a container, wrap it up, throw it in the fridge. So personally, I'm not the best at cracking eggs, so that's why I'm the bartender, not a cook, but here we go. I want to get that good old yolk right up here. And time for some magic effects. And boom, here we go. Magic. YouTube magic, baby. So now that we got all the uh, yolks separated, remember that sugar I was telling you about? Just add it too. Boom. And now, here comes the, I would say fun part, but not so fun part. We are just going to whisk this until it becomes a fine, thicker sauce. All right, now that we have it nice and light and creamy, we're going to leave this alone for a little bit. But now, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to add our milk, our heavy cream, our nutmeg, and a little pinch of salt to our saucepan right over here. We're going to keep that at a medium level. I'm touching this because I haven't turned it on for people at home doing this. Do not do this. We are not liable if you burn your hands. <laughs> and our secret ingredient, as you can see, that we're going to be making this a little bit differently, is Fireball. And we've got one more coming from you. A little short. All right, so you got a nice little simmer. Now here's comes the best part. It's time for a smoke break. We're gonna let this simmer on low heat. Meanwhile, let's make the real talk happen. What uh, what inspired you to get into this whole scene, man? What inspired you to get into THC and marijuana in general? And incorporated <laughs> that with cooking, out of curiosity. I love weed in general, in any shape or form. And I just love cooking. You know, we'll open up a restaurant one day. So why not, you know, practice and have fun with it? That's fair. I'll say you're better with the lighter than me because I fucked that one way too many times. Go oh, there and go. You remember your first time getting high? Yeah. Um, I believe I was in high school on the early Dismissal day. Smoking out of a soda can, I believe. <laughs> yeah, with the aluminum foil. <laughs> yeah. I believe it was uh, Reggie. No, that's all we had in high school, let's yeah. be honest. I remember in high school, like, oh my god, I got hydro. And we're like, oh shit. And now it's like, oh, yeah, no, oh, that's cool. Not a big deal, it's hydro. Okay. What was the first time you got high? Uh, first time I got high was when I got my heart broken. I was dating this chick in high school um, for about two years. 
For those who are watching, don't ever get in relationships in high school. It's a terrible idea. And if you do have a contract. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that was bad. But, uh, yeah, I got a bad relationship. Uh, and my buddy, who was there for me the entire time, uh, got sick of me bitching. So I was totally against marijuana initially. And eventually got to the point, he's like, hit this or get the fuck out of my house. I'm sick of hearing about this shit, Brandon. That's and, a good friend. Oh, yeah, well, I came in and I realized I don't deflate after smoking. Those dare commercials scared the living shit out of me. Oh yeah, I was so scared. I legitimately thought I was gonna deflate. I was like, oh no. But after that I realized it's not not bad. The only thing I realized I don't really <laughs> have on stone is I've ordered way too much food for my own good. <laughs> like I've ordered pizzas and shit and the next day I checked my account and I was like, that was a fucking stupid idea. It's alright, I'm sure sure everybody does that. A lot of people. Yeah. All right, so now you can see uh, it's at a nice simmer. It's not boiling, you can see the steam coming off of it. It's at a nice temp. So, uh, now what we're gonna do is pour this into our eggs that we had stirred earlier. Do not pour it all at once. You wanna tempt the eggs, because if you do, you can actually cook the eggs, and then you're just gonna have cooked egg, eggnog, and unless you like chunky stuff, that's probably not the way to go. So the preferable way is get a spoon. Um, this one's a little bit smaller than usual, but you essentially wanna stir as you're adding in. You don't want to go too fast, you don't want to add too much at one time, but essentially this is what you're doing so you're not cooking the egg. We're going to fast forward this a little bit just because time purposes I don't think you want to see this. Gotta love the magic of YouTube editing. Alright, now you can see it's all stirred together. We don't have chunky eggs because we didn't pour it all at one time. But now that it's actually condensed in, it's made together and you're not cooking egg by itself, we're actually going to pour it back in the saucepan. And here's where our magic comes in here at CrossFit Kitchen. So as you can see, got everything back in the saucepan. But it wouldn't be CrossFit Kitchen without a little bit of alcohol. So at the store today and I was like, oh, what are we going to get? Oh, we're going to get some fireball. We're gonna use four shots of Fireball in this, um, mainly because I'm a little bit of an alcoholic and it's Fireball, so you can actually drink a lot of this without being terribly drunk, depending on who you are. Boom, all four bottles cracked. And we're just gonna pour that bad boy in. Once it's in, continuously stir. You just want to get it mixed in. You don't need to stir it for a long time, but you do want to stir it. So once you feel that it's adequately, adequately mixed in, I'm sure for some of you, you probably saw this to the side and was like, what the hell is that? Well, I had to actually do this in two separate days. Right here, that's some uh, THC infused butter right here. Yeah. So the day before filming, we actually had to make this. It's a four hour process from start to beginning. Get a large bowl. You want to fill that large bowl up until it's actually boiling with hot water. Fill it up to the top because a lot of it is actually going to get burnt out. You want to put a large bowl on top of that, but before you do that, fill it halfway with water. Reason being is you're going to put a medium sized bowl inside that large bowl, cooking the butter without burning it. Yes, you can burn butter. Yeah, I've done it before. It's not something I like to bowl as you can see inside the large bowl throw your butter in there and just watch it until it's fully melted now add the green and you're going to stir that green that green butter as it's melting every 10 minutes for three hours i know it sounds a little hard but just do it it's worth every little bit of it it's been three hours now so now you want to actually strain out the butter from the actual green that good old marijuana and what you want to do with that strainer once Drain down, you have your butter and your uh, marijuana separated. Hold the marijuana over that butter and press it for all its juice. The THC is really where it's at at that point, and then make sure you actually scrape the bowl to get all the keef out of it. So now that you saw the magic, we're gonna add one large spoonful. 
We use double the amount of marijuana in ours. So this spoonful is going to be potent. Assuming we can actually get it in there. And insert that's what the she said yolk. And now you're gonna just stir this bad boy in until it's fully diluted. All right, we've got the butter all diluted in. Remember that little bit of extract of vanilla? Just pour that bad boy in. And just stir it for a little bit. You don't want to overcook it, but we're just going to stir it for a little bit. Once it's fully mixed in. Now here's where I'm terrible. And I do apologize for those who get offended by how much I'm about to spill. We want to take our lovely container. And I'm going to try to attempt to pour this into the container without spilling it everywhere. Which pan's a little heavy. Oh dear God, I'm doing it. Yeah, I did it. I didn't spill anything. Neat. Now that we have it on our container, we're gonna throw it in the fridge and we'll let it chill for a little bit. Alrighty guys, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna make some uh, dessert nachos. Oh, what are dessert nachos? Glad you guys asked. All right, so what we're, make sure you guys get uh, you know, some flour tortilla. Uh, we're gonna use butter. Our butter, of course, is infused with at least seven grams of uh, some good ass weed. Uh, and this is what, about a pound of butter? Um, those of you at home already, if you know who this is or what this is, you're a real one. You know, some of grandma's chocolate, um, some sugar, obviously, some cinnamon. You guys wanna get a, you know, pizza cutter. Um, some condensed milk uh, and some banana and strawberry. All right, so what we're gonna do first, we have about two cups of sugar, two cups of uh, cinnamon. We're gonna put it up on the bowl, trash. And uh, we're just gonna, you know, give it a quick mix on the sugar and the cinnamon. Even it out. So we have a mixture already of uh, cinnamon and sugar. That's pretty much a churro mix. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a, we're gonna grab some butter. Obviously this is, you know, smells so good. Uh, THC butter, we're gonna rub it on the flour tortilla, all over it. Just make sure we get it all, all around. Uh, you, want, you don't want to miss a spot. And the reason I'm telling you guys that we're not going to miss a spot is because we are going to apply this uh, cinnamon sugar mix that we just tossed. Yeah, you, you kind of want to, you know, uh, you kind of want to fuck it up a little bit with uh, with this. Um, I'm going to, you know, lightly dust it off. That's, that's pretty much what we want. Um, we're going to do the same to the other side. I know, right? Too much better. Oh, it's not. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, it was. All right, some more butter. Make sure we get it all around. And uh, if you guys just got some fresh butter, I would, you know, kind of leave it outside the fridge for a couple minutes, just so it can kind of get a little bit soft and you guys won't have to, uh, kind of struggle with, uh, you know, cold uh, butter. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it just like a pizza. Kind of like, you know, like, like some chips. And we're gonna just arrange them over here while we do the same to the other tortillas. And voila, after rubbing butter on both sides of your flour tortilla and spreading cinnamon and sh uh, sugar mix on them, we have uh, we have them ready to throw in the oven. We're gonna throw them in the oven for like about 30 minutes. We have the oven right now set at 350. Uh, we're gonna have to check on them like, you know, every five minutes, we'll, we'll grab them, give them a little quick top, that way they won't get stuck to the bottom of the shoe tray. Uh, and for now, let's make some uh, magic whipped cream. So we're gonna make some uh, some whipped cream from scratch, and uh, what you need, you're gonna need, need a little bit of uh, heavy whipped cream. You're gonna need a little bit of uh, vanilla abstract, uh, some sugar, powdered sugar, preferably, and uh, we're gonna add a little bit of our uh, THC butter. 
So we're going to start off pouring, um, pouring the heavy cream. We're just going to throw it all in there because there's barely any left. We're going to throw some vanilla in there just to give it some good flavor. Let's give it just a little bit, a little bit more. We have uh, about a tablespoon of uh, sugar that we're throwing in here. And we're just gonna throw our butter in there, which was pretty much, I don't know, a teaspoon. All right, so while we have the chips in the oven, you know, getting a little crunchy, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna slice the strawberries. And uh, we're gonna slice your banana also. I uh, I like caramelized banana. I don't. We don't have a torch right now at the moment for us to caramelize it, so therefore we're just gonna throw banana like that by itself. But we have plenty of THC already in the dish itself, and butter, and then the whipped cream that we just made. All right, perfect. Alrighty, so it's been about, what, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we left them in there with every now and then, you know, just opening the oven and uh, giving a little, a little, a little shove. Uh, so what we want, pretty much want for this to get crunchy. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this, but that's how you want them to sound. Uh, Alrighty, so now that we have them all already cooled down, fresh out the oven, uh, we're just gonna start playing them. We're gonna make a little, a little mountain of uh, cinnamon, cinnamon chips. Pretty much what they are. Now, for every 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 layer that I make, I'm also gonna throw a little bit of uh, bananas. You know, it's kind of like uh, like some nachos. You know, when you when you play some real nachos with cheese and all that shit. You know, pico, guacamole, crema, some black beans, chicken, steak, whatever you want. You kind of make layers, right? So. This one over. We're gonna add a couple, there we go, a little bit more. We have some bananas, strawberry. We're gonna, now that right now is where we're gonna come in with the condensed milk that we have. Just gonna try to make it look pretty. You know, nothing too fancy. Nothing out of the world. Just uh just a stoner with the munchies. Now we will add some of the whipped cream that you guys can see is kind of like melting, but it's all good because that's what we want. And we're pretty much just gonna add a little bit of uh chocolate shaving on top. And alright, look at this fucking guy, what's he trying to do? And voila, we're ready, we're ready to munch. Hey guys and girls, if you like our video, please click that like and subscribe button, blaze the bell down below. And if you like our content and you like our style, check out Eddie's page. You guys can go ahead and follow me on Lalo the Collector, DA Collector. Uh, I like to be opening uh, mystery boxes, you know, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Dragon Ball cards, anything that gets my attention, to be honest, as a collector. But for now, let's uh, let's see how today's uh, little project came out, dude. I'm all about it. I've been waiting. Let's try this shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Hey, folks, by the way. Sorry, I gotta wash this down a little bit. Check our videos out every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Not in daylight savings time, I had that messed up, so check our time out 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That said, have a good one and Merry Christmas or Hanukkah. Or but at least not be done. Or whatever you celebrate, have a good one, folks. Be safe. Guys, look real. I lost a bet. Uh, I made a bet with my roommate that he couldn't eat a banana in one full bite. I don't know if I'm proud of him or turned on or what, but a bet is a bet, dude. Hey, man, just do it. 12-inch banana is a 12-inch banana. Hey.
So this is what I like to call Brandon shell. Half a pint glass. I add a little coke because I don't want to throw up right now. Chug that shit, boy. That's bad. <laughs> 